ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Kingdom Hearts. I don't think you need any introduction. It's a very famous by now, a little crossover between Disney and Square Enix. Final Fantasy, the world ends with you. All those characters. And of course, characters from all your favorite Disney shows. All come together in this wonderful little action RPG. So, without further ado, I think there's really no better way. We're just gonna dive straight in then. We'll do normal. Yep, uh, we don't need vibration. Let's go. Now, sadly, the opening song is going to get hit by a copyright strike, so I'm gonna have to mute the uh, mute the audio once the song starts. So, yeah. Right, so welcome to our first world, Dive to the Heart. So much to do, so little time. Take your time, don't be afraid, this is just a tutorial. Get used to, the mo get used to your movement controls, the door is still shut. Now step forward, can you do it? Why yes indeed. So this will be our basic tutorial stuff movement and stuff. And now we have a choice. Power sleeps within you. If you give it form, it will give you strength. Choose well. So now we have a choice. Oh boy. Okay, yeah I know about that. So we have a choice of the shield the sword or the rod and this basically will determine the growth of Sora Sora here his character stats it will determine whether he'll be like magic oriented attack oriented or defense oriented it'll give him bonus points so personally I'm gonna go for magic the power of the mystic inner strength a staff of wonder and ruin is this the power you seek? Yes. Your path is set. Now what will you give up in exchange? So yep, basically we have to pick one that will be increased and one will be decreased. So we're gonna decrease our defense because if we play this right we won't need so much defense. The power of the guardian, kindness to aid friends, a shield to repel all. You give up this power. Yep. You've chosen the power of the mystic, and you've given up the power of the guardian. Is this the form you choose? Yep, squishy wizard. Squishy wizard it is. So if you notice these platforms are of the Disney princesses, you've gained the power to fight. And now we shall have a tutorial on how to fight. Like so. Alright, you've got it. Use this power to protect yourself and others. And the green gauge displays HP. If you run out of HP, we take it to continue screen. Magic points is for MP, you've got three blocks over there, so it is indeed a mystery to us. There will be times where you have to fight. Like now. Keep your light burning strong. Here we go then. Oh. Well, I guess that did it. <laughs> you gain experience by defeating enemies. With enough experience, you gain a level. As usual. For the more defeated enemies, sometimes leave items behind. You can take these items by walking up to them. Different items can do different things like restore HP or MP. Like those green orbs, those are HP restore orbs. Behind you! 
Generally, you'll automatically target the nearest enemy, but you can lock onto a specific target by pressing R1. Lock on will appear in the upper left corner of the screen where you're locked onto a target. Locking onto a target limits the actions available to you, especially against other targets. Press R1 again to release the target lock. So, like so. Oh. Okay, let's go. There. Everything's good. Don't you hate it when you just sink through the floor like that? And now we're on another platform. This is a field icon, it pops up whenever a special command is available. You can examine nearby objects by selecting examine then pressing X to confirm. So, like so. Can't open it. Need a key. So now we go over to this chest. You can push, you can also push large crates, like so. You can also smash them. You can take these items by walking up to them. So we've got a potion, which we will keep for later. You can also lock onto objects as well as enemies. With lo while locked on, press L2 to switch your focus between available targets. So. There we go, the door's open, and we can move on. Also, you, can, you clank on everything, so <laughs> there's that. First, tell me more about yourself and press the select button to shift to first person view. You can then use the left analog stick to look around. Like so. There you go, first person mode. But we don't need that, so... Attack command has changed to talk. Select talk to strike up a conversation with someone nearby. So what's gonna happen on this on this section is these three characters, which are Final Fantasy X characters, in case you don't know, they are Titus, Waka, and Selfie. But anyway, they're gonna ask us a bunch of questions, and that will determine the rate of XP gain throughout the game. So if we answer it a certain way, we can get a higher XP gain in the early levels, and then it tapers off eventually. The middle one is normal pace, where you just get a steady amount of XP, and the last option is uh, for slow experience gain at, a st at early game, but increase XP gain at later game. So to make things simple, I think we're just going to go for the medium path. So we'll just answer the second option for every question, so there we'll be doing that. So what are you so afraid of being different? Is that really so scary? Oh, who knows, Titus? Only one man of life. Broaden my horizons. Okay. What's most important to you? Friendship. You're afraid of being different. You want to broaden your horizons and you want friendship. Your adventure begins at midday. Keep a steady pace and you'll come true fine. Yep, so we've got the midday path. The day you will open the door is both far off and very near.
So we're on Sleeping Beauty's platform now. As a start button to open the menu screen. In the main menu, you can do things like view your inventory and status or configure your game settings. However, you can't open the menu during battle. And here comes a bunch more shadows. That's a lot of them. Very annoying. Especially since we don't have any commands right now. Eventually you'll get stuff like a block and a dodge row. Okay. How many targets left? There we go. Alright, I think we cleared out the room. And there we go, a safe point's appeared. So this is a safe point, you touch safe points, you recover HP and MP, and you can open the safe menu and save stuff. So, yep, basic, tuto basic tutorial stuff. All the usual stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, let's make a safe. Okay, so we have options, like party members, but we don't have any right now. We can take a look at our items. We have a potion, but we don't need that. We are currently using the Dream Rod, which is just for, the, just for this section. And we don't have any abilities. We we can customize stuff for now, but we don't have any spells for shortcuts, so... And that's just a config menu, and that's a safe menu. Alright, so everything's alright then. Let's move on. See what lies at the end of this dream. It's a very pretty structure, isn't it? This is Bell's platform. The closer you get to light, the greater your shadow becomes. But don't be afraid. And don't forget. So this is our first boss fight, the dark side, and we're going to have to fight him. We're going to have to wait for him to come down though. Alright, we'll lock onto his arm and then we'll hit him. There's a lot of shadows coming around as well. Oh boy, he's gone out of range. We're gonna have to make do for now. At least we can get a little more, bit more experience out of this. Okay, so I think we can go up to his head and hit him. Although I'm not sure. It's a little wonky. Oh yeah, we can, but not anymore. He's doing another attack to wait for him he's gonna do his hand slam attack again so we're gonna go over there and we're gonna start hitting his hand
Okay, let's try to kill him with his head then for our swag points. After we take out these last of the last of the shadows. Okay, we gotta wait for him to come down. Come on. Let me climb you. Oh boy. Platforming is wonky. Okay, you know what? No swag points. I'm not good enough. Yeah, we got him. Don't be afraid. Even though there's burning darkness around me. You hold the mightiest weapon of all. So don't forget. You are the one who will open the door. That was Dive to the Heart. So yep, this is Destiny Islands, and we are introduced to our three protagonists, Sora, Riku, and Kairi. So here we are. This is Sora. He's a swell guy, I guess. So can you get her the rest of the supplies? Sora, you're listening to me? Yeah, I heard you. Okay, here's what you can need to go find. Two logs, one cloth, one rope, and bring everything back here. If you need help, just ask. I'm counting on you. So yep, here we are on Destiny Islands. We're building a raft in order to get ready to go. Go where? I don't know. I wonder if I can jump up there. Yeah, I think I can. If I don't clank. Okay, never mind. Let's just go the long way around. 
So here we are, three little kids stuck on Destiny Islands. Okay, we got a lock. Hey, and there's Waka here for some reason. What's up with you, Waka? Okay, up. Oh. Little Final Fantasy cameos and all that, you know, the usual stuff. Okay, Disney Islands is pretty big place, but evidently not big enough for our friends here. Because there's so much more they want to see, and so they're building a raft to get out. Oh, this is a place. Okay, what's in here? Oh, save point. Okay. Okay, so Riku's over here. At least I think that's Riku. Yep, that is. <laughs> Shouldn't get anything for. Did you get everything we need for the rough? I gave myself to Kyrie. Hey, Sora, how about a quick round? Grab your sword. Yeah, sure. Let's uh, do a bit of combat practice. Oh boy. And let's go 0 to 1. Oh. Oh, I see. We we can't get ringed out. Okay, here we go then. Stay locked onto him. Why oh, is he blocking? Oh boy, I fell off again. <laughs> All right, fine. Riku is the superior swordsman. That's all we're gonna get for him for now. I can't jump in the water. But it's... You don't have to beep at me every time I do it. Okay, is there anything up here we need? Doesn't look like it. Uh, ladders on the other side. Hmm, over here. Hmm. Okay, there's the cloth. You know, Sora, you should probably stop sticking your sword on everything. I'll climb this ladder. Okay. Um, round the corner. And Titus is over here. Hey, Sora, you feel lucky today? I I guess. Okay, I've got the rope. We need one more lock. So we gotta find one more lock. Somewhere on the beach, I suppose. But there are perfectly good boats here. Why aren't we using them? Why do we need to make a raft? Oh wait, yeah, the log's over here. I'm a silly goose. There we go, we got a log. Just wait for him to attack and then count. Wait for him to Oh, come on. It's not fair that ring outs count. Alright, that's enough messing around with Riku. We've messed around with him enough. Let's, let's go back to Kairi. I concede defeat. Okay, Kyrie, I'm back. Found something there. Oh, she gave me a high potion. Yep. We'll finish up tomorrow. So, Kyrie's home is out there somewhere, right? Could be. We'll never know by staying here. But how far could a rat take us? Who knows? If we have to, we'll think of something else. So, suppose you get to another world. <laughs> what would you do there? Hmm. Well, I, I haven't really thought about it. It's just, I've always wondered why we're here, on this island. If there are any other worlds out there, why did we end up on this one? 
And suppose there are other worlds. Then ours is just a little piece of something much greater. So, we could have just as easily ended up somewhere else, right? I don't know. Exactly. That's why we need to go out there and find out. Just sitting here won't change a thing. It's the same old stuff. So let's go. You've been thinking a lot lately, haven't you? Thanks to you. If you hadn't come here, I probably would have never thought of any of this. Kari, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. So Riku is a Disney princess dreaming of a life beyond what he knows. I'm joking. You wanted one, didn't you? How could for it? If two people share one, their destinies become intertwined. They'll remain a part of each other's lives, no matter what. Come on, I know you want to try it. What are you talking? <laughs> 